Yeah, hi guys, so I was just um, watching there Mike, Mike on um, Interrupts 165, he, um, yeah, he has a bee in his bonnet about the demon casters, he, um, he's right into them and I, I, I get it, I, I understand it very much, <clears throat> so he, he's saying that, if, you know, Christians think they can have demons in them and that, and uh and he's fighting an uphill battle because um, there's some very big forces um, driving Christians to believe that sort of thing. And uh, one of them is Derek Prince, right? So I've followed Prince for many years and I loved his stuff and I really, you know, really enjoyed a, a lot of his stuff. It helped me heaps. Um, but then I got to one... Uh, video it might be uh, oh, I'm not sure which one it was a very long one anyway and just one part of it he says unless you speak in tongues you haven't got the Holy Spirit and um, <laughs> well that got me into a lot of Bible study so to, to say the least and and because um, I was looking into tongues and all that sort of stuff at the time and I'd ask God once and he sort of let me know um, don't worry about it and then the second time I've pestered him again and then he's um, he's just going it, it's to glorify me and um, not yourself so you know stop stop asking it's more or less like stop asking and um, that sort of thing so yes I've, I've since looked into it more and yeah it, it's like it's to edify yourself fine those that speak in tongues that's fine if you're edifying yourself go for it all good, but this guy here champions. Um, uh, you must speak in tongues to have the Holy Spirit, and oh, that knocked me for six. And also, I think it might be the same video too. He was like casting demons out, and he's saying Christians can have demons, and this is why he believes it because um, he's saying you're saved without the Holy Spirit. Um, but uh, yeah, Christians. Um, don't have the Holy Spirit, so they can have demons. Um, those ones can have demons, or no, actually, he says both. Two t two spirits indwelt. Here, I'll just play this one here. We'll have a look. Okay, so people have they're the most difficult ones to do. The two kinds of spirit. Um, I'm a bit nervous playing Derek Prince stuff on my computer on online there because he, all his stuff is really heavily policed uh they'll they want their money for it all right no, no he, he doesn't give freely none of this is given freely his family um wants their money and the royalties from it so yeah i'm nervous sharing anything one is the holy spirit and the other is not okay so he's saying there's two types of spirits in this person the holy spirits and another one that's not the holy spirit Yeah, so he's correct. Yes, Holy Spirit does dwell in there, but uh, <clears throat> there's no demons in there with you. Some people take the attitude the Holy Spirit will only come in when you're completely pure. But the Holy Spirit comes in to make us pure without him. That's right. So you get the Holy Spirit to come in and clean out your vessel. Well, the Holy Spirit does it. All you do is ask Holy Spirit to come and help you, and the Holy Spirit will start cleaning it out for you. All right, so, um, yeah, that's... I'm with that. We cannot be pure. So we need him. It's, it's like a professor at a university would say to his class, now when you've passed your exams, I'll teach you. And it, they'd say, but professor, we need you to teach us. To yeah, so he goes on with all these stuff like that. He's not using Bible verses. So this is why he used to get me, because he could explain things like that sort of stuff. So, um... Yeah, so uh, what he goes on to say is that, anyway, you, you can have demons in you and they need, and you need to be, they have them cast out and, oh, uh, whatever else. So, yes, I was with him on all that and I'd be doing all his stuff and, um, you know, um, please get these demons out of me and all that sort of stuff. So, what you can be is affected by um, 
damage, you know, they'll make your life hard, things will go wrong, or blah, blah, blah. You'll be um, tempted, lots of temptations, you, you'll get lazy, or you, you know, or, you, or fat, or whatever, you know, temptations, that, that's always going to happen. That's, that's not demons in you, that's outside influence. Alright, so... Um, this is what we're we're up against. See, these guys here are really, really good at wording their stuff, and they're edifying in a lot of things they say. Um, and that edifies edifying is very powerful. That's why it's a good thing when it's used in the correct way. Um, okay, and about is uh, the Holy Spirit and tongues. Now, the other thing he says is, unless you speak in tongues, you haven't got the Holy Spirit. And this is terrifying to a lot of people. And this is uh, what you're battling. Now, he just said that before in the previous one. The Holy Spirit enters you and helps you start to clean out your vessel. So a good way to know is if your life is changing. If you've got Holy Spirit, your life will be changing. Um, all your bad influences are gone. All your friends are gone. Because <laughs> they were usually the bad influences. Um, your addictions will fall off. You won't play Lotto anymore. Um, you know, things like Facebook. You, you used to be an addict to that and... Um, your kids will say, I want dinner, and you go, in a minute, because you're still on Facebook, well, that'll be all gone, all those sort of things, you know, you, you, you just start knocking all these addictions you never knew you had on the head, they'll start disappearing, that's how you know you end up with Holy Spirit, right, um, have a look here, Yeah, so he's saying here, you actually actually have to meet Jesus, because he's saying Jesus breathed on his disciples the Holy Spirit. Yeah, so not until you have a personal encounter with the resurrected Christ and receive from him. Yes, yeah, so, and so he's saying Jesus has got to be standing right in front of you, and it's not until he breathes on you and you receive that, then do you have the Holy Spirit. All right, so <clears throat> I was, this wasn't even stuff I was looking for, and now I'm starting to see things. I start to scrutinize him a bit more, right, and I'm, I'm seeing what he's doing. And um, I can see things that he's, re he's the way he's wording things. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so he's saying there's three reasons to speak in tongues. So he's saying the first number one reason is because you're speaking to God, and that's a privilege, right? It's like praying. So when you're praying to God, obviously that's not a privilege. <laughs> I can't help it, I don't want to mock this guy, but I'm just so upset at him that he misled me, you know, so. Yeah, so you'll notice he put capital S in there, spirit to spirit with the living God, so Holy Spirit speaking to the living God. Alright, so you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> so when you obviously when you're speaking in tongues, the tongues he's talking about, jibber jabber, um, it, it, you don't know what you're saying. So like when when the Holy Spirit murmurs for for you that you know you can't understand, right? That's Holy Spirit doing it. It's, it's his murmurings, not yours. So um, he prays in your stead for things that you can't word right or um, or things that are in your heart, uh, that sort of stuff. So. Um, He's reinterpreting it to be this way. The jibber jabber is the mysteries. Right, that's the one. Edifying yourself. All right, that's great. I'm with that. Um, edifying yourself builds up yourself, and the prophesizing um, edifies the church. So, yeah. So this is my dilemma like this guy was so great to me and then um, I'm just so mad at him like um, the amount of people that uh, listen to this guy and get sucked in I was years got sucked in just from some lady that said Derek Prince and then I seen he was a demon 
and said a lot of stuff about him about the demon thing and I got to watching him and I thought he was pretty good and uh, so yeah it's just little things like that so keep an eye out and always be skeptical even with, especially with the smooth tongue ones with the really nice honey words and that and um, just try and place everything they say with uh, with the KJV and you and the only you know you really have to be um, studying in the Bible to find these people because um, that's the only protection you have is the KJV and if you don't trust in the Bible like it's, every word is from God then um, uh, you're, you're easy pickings you must believe that the Bible is the word from God it's infallible and um, he wouldn't give you any corrupted form and he's quite capable of stopping anyone from doing that so uh, that's why KJV's got Strong's Concordance. There's no point in having a KJV unless you ha get the Strong's Concordance, which was made just for the KJV. That, that's what makes it uh, the Bible to compare with other Bibles, mostly. But yeah, you, you need the, you need that, you need the Strong's Concordance, because um, the word definitions are not understandable without it. All right. Yeah. Okay. God bless, guys. That's my rant and rave for today.